Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, this is going to be the variable section of our tutorial. So I am going to teach you how to use um, the basic forms of a variable. Um, so we already went over um, switches, um, cell switches, and um, now we're going to go over variable. What we're going to name this is, say, cherry wants three pieces of candy or you know whatever so we're going to name this variable and notice how the variable has a whole different set of um, you know whole, whole, whole new set of, um, of numbers and, and variables that you can choose from it's not the same as events okay it's gonna keep it a little bit more organized as well so we're gonna give cherry some candy this is what we're going to do. As you will see, when you click a variable, this other window will appear. And this says zero or above. So this variable is going to trigger this page when you get a certain amount of these. So zero or above. So it seems a little foggy right now, but. Um, It'll all come to you when you, when you start doing this. So, when you have three or above of a certain variable, okay? So that's what's gonna happen. So this is not going to happen until you get three of something, okay? That's going to trigger. Or not necessarily if you get three of something, or if you just do three things, or if you do a certain thing a certain amount of times, or just whenever you want, okay? So it's, 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 it's gonna be, um, there's a lot of different uses for it, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make the first piece of candy, okay? And we're just gonna pick something that looks uh, relatively like a piece of candy. Ooh, there you go. That would look like a piece of candy. So I'm gonna put directional fix, because we don't really want it to animate or move at the moment, okay? So, <sighs> so here's what we're gonna do. Action button, same as character. Here we go. Then I go control variables. It's gonna bring up a different window than you're used to with the switches. We're gonna make sure it says candy, okay? So we're gonna add a constant of one to the variable. So when you click on it, it's going to give you one piece of candy in a sense. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, erase event after that so it doesn't um, so it doesn't keep giving us candy from the same piece of candy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it two more times. It gives us three pieces of candy. I'm gonna put these right next to each other. So I'm gonna go through these events and I'll show you what happens. So I'm gonna go through this whole process and I'll show you what happens. She's still not there. There's still three pieces of candy. And um, since the candy's still there, um, it will still trigger that event page without you actually making her appear there first with the crystal, which is interesting. So we're gonna collect each piece of candy and she appears there. Imagine that. But we didn't make her say anything. So when you click on her, nothing's gonna happen, okay? So it makes sense so far. Um, we're going to go a step farther, and we're going to make these um, triggered by something happen. We're going to make them tr get triggered by the same event that triggers her to appear in the first place, okay? So we're going to make each one of these something happen. We're going to set it to that event. We're going to make each one of these something happen. Something happen. So... We can go back to our project. Notice the candy or the girl are not there anymore. They're not there when you start. Okay. So we're going to click on the crystal. And now it's going to appear candy, spawn the candy, plus the girl. So when you click on her, it's going to go, hello, my name is Cherry. And um, as we discussed before, the self switch makes her say something different 
after that. So then, you collect all the candy. And there you have it. She's not saying anything anymore because as you will see on the third page, she does not say anything. But we'll make her say something like, hey, thanks for the candy. Um, here's something as a token of my gratitude. I'm gonna make a face real quick. Scissors and bottom, background normal. And let's get creative. What kind of what do you what do you need? How about um how about you get a potion? Seems simple enough, right? Um, then after that, I'm gonna say you got a potion. And there you have it. You change the item plus one potion added to your inventory. Um, and um, here's one of those things um, when you're making a game, it's important to pay attention to detail. So to make the game a little bit more interesting, we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little. Um, we're gonna add a little sound in there. And that sound is going to be found on your second tab, and it's going to be play SE. And SE stands for sound effect. And um, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna pick absorb for that one. Um, so it's gonna play that, change your item, you got a potion. It's all gonna happen like really quick. It's not gonna, you're not gonna even know what happened, all right? So I'm gonna go through the events one more time. This time with feeling. Okay, nothing happened. Just a clicker. Click the crystal. Is there? Oh, my name is Cherry. I've never met before. Um, get all the candy. As you will see, she's been triggered to do whatever you want on that third page. So she's going to say, Hey, thanks for the candy. Here's something as a token of my gratitude. You got a potion, so play the sound effect. You also did something, but see the problem is with that, we didn't make that process um, end, so she's gonna keep giving us potions as long as we want. So holy crap. If you want that to happen, then great. That's your game. But uh, we don't want that to happen right now. So as, um, as we did before, we're gonna erase the vent. Or, um, better yet, after you get the potion, we're gonna create another self switch. So this time we're gonna make it B so it doesn't interfere with the first self, self switch we used. We're gonna make another page, self switch B. And it's just like a switch, a round normal switch, but um, there you have it. So after you get that potion, she's not gonna give you any more potions because we just did that. Um, after this, gonna make her say, "Let's give her. Let's uh, let's say we want her uh, to give us uh, another task." And this time we're gonna fight monsters, okay? Um, she's gonna say, "Hey, you, you did a good job you giving me that candy." to it, I have another task for you. It's a little more difficult, but do you, but would you accept it? Um, one thing before I move on is that you'll notice um, when we're texting, there are two arrows. First arrow for most standard screens. Um, text is going to cut off right about here, so you're not going to want to type any farther than that. You can, you can type farther than that, but you're not going to see it when you play the game.